Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Putco Punch Bumper Insert. Now this is going to be a piece that's going to fit in that bumper space on your vehicle. This is a custom fit for the 2015 through 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 and also for the 3500. So this should mount up in that space kind of on the lower part of your bumper to add a little extra flare and also a little extra light. It comes with the light bar already installed into this punch out grill. So it's going to look really nice, looks almost factory once it's installed. To get that in place, you will need to remove some portions of your grill and the top piece to get back in there to assemble this. It's not too difficult, just something that might be a little bit tedious, but definitely something that you can do at home. Just be patient with it and follow the instructions. As far as the wiring itself, we'll have a plug for the light bar to connect into the rest of the harness. So this is going to be a weatherproof plug which is always nice. You see that little grommet there. That's going to keep out any kind of water, dirt, or debris from getting into our connection. There's a relay in place in that wiring bundle and also a fuse. Comes with the fuse already in place. It's going to be a 15 amp fuse there. And our relay is going to be a 40 amp. So should be enough to protect our vehicle and the light from any kind of back feed one way or the other. So I've got this all hooked up and I'm going to turn it on with the switch which also comes with it. So if we turn that on, you can see our light comes on and it is very bright. Looks really nice. I'm going to turn the lights out in the studio so you can get a better idea of what it looks like actually installed. So this is something that's going to be more for off-road use. You don't want to have this on on the highway or else you'll be blinding everybody. But it does look pretty cool. Gives you a lot of light. The output for this is going to be 3600 lumens. So definitely a very bright light for just about anybody to light up the night. It's even illuminating my whole studio here if I have it pointed straight up. So definitely a really nice bright light there. I'm going to turn my studio lights back on, turn our bar off, and as far as the light bar, this does have a total wattage of 27 watts, so that gives you 3 watts per LED. The power draw is just 2.2 two five amps and we'll have a total of nine diodes. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It measures roughly ten inches long for just the light bar portion. The whole thing is a little bit longer than that. If we measure from side to side and allow for the curve there of the housing, it's about nineteen and five eighths inches long. If we go just straight from one bracket to the other, it's a little shorter than that, about nineteen and three eighths inches. Top to bottom, about five inches tall there, just going from the end of the bracket. And then the light at the back, it's about three quarters of an inch deep. Again, this is a custom fit, so it should mount up in that little space beneath your grill, kind of uh, lower than your grill and above your license plate. So it fills up that gap there. As far as the wiring lighting, it is going, or the the lighting wiring, excuse me, from our, le our relay to the plug, it's going to be about eight feet roughly of wire, and then from the relay to the plug, it's about four feet. So you'll have very roughly about 12 feet in total. I'd say more like 10 feet of actual usable length to get this routed around. Just with the way that relay is um, set up with the heat shrink and everything, it's going to take a little bit of that space. So you have about that much length to work with. As far as the connections, it's just power and ground. So red goes to power, black goes to ground. Our switch will have three little prongs to hook up to. And there's a teeny tiny number next to each one of those switches, which you're definitely not going to be able to see here on camera. But the first one is red, second is blue, third is black. So if you can see those little numbers once you get the switch, you should be able to get those hooked up to turn that on and off. All in all, I think this is a really nice addition for your truck. Looks nice. It's made of a heavy gauge stainless steel for the grill. The actual housing for the light bar is made of a 661 billet aluminum, so we don't have to worry about any rust or corrosion between those two guys, and it just looks really nice. Pretty easy install, just fits over that bumper grill, comes with the hardware to get that in place. So 
should go in no problem. It is made in the USA and comes with a lifetime warranty from Putco. But that's going to do it for our look at the Putco punch bumper insert with 10-inch light bar in the stainless steel and black.